Here at the School of Preseli, we realise the importance of preparing students for the world of work after they've left school. In this short video, you'll see how the school is capitalising on the new technologies and digital developments in order to impact on teaching and learning. With digital devices, students can easily collaborate on projects as seen in our drama classes here. Collaboration is key to engagement in today's classrooms. And by using digital technology, students can be given far greater opportunities to work with other students on assessment projects and content creation, and can even share their work with the world. Virtual rooms such as Padlet are also used at school, and any work placed here can be saved, shared and used time and time again by everyone involved. Because of this, pupils are significantly more engaged with their learning, take ownership and responsibility for their learning, and lead their own learning and that of others. It also allows for real-time assessment, be it by the teacher or by the pupils themselves. At a school of Pacelli, we understand that technology can truly extend learning, so we've decided to use this to our advantage. Many departments in modern foreign languages, drama and geography have set up their own blogs so that students can access everything they need to continue learning outside the classroom with a swipe of a finger. Our design and technology department have even created their own videos demonstrating how to cook simple recipes. Now pupils, parents and anyone in the world can access these videos from YouTube and Touchcast channels. In geography, Year 7 students have been fortunate enough to experience live Skype conversations with fair trade farmers from India, driving a thirst for learning like never before. In today's world, we can invite experts to our classroom from anywhere in the world. Here in our GCSE English lessons, pupils can visit anywhere in the world. These carefully planned activities are stimulating and challenging and help the pupils develop their vocabulary for narrative writing. Students are engaged, clearly enjoy what they do and achieve significantly more as a result. Technology also provides opportunity for personalised learning. Here our ICT department has created instructional videos on a coding programme called Scratch so that all students can learn and excel at their own pace pausing and rewinding whenever necessary. In leisure and tourism lessons, recordings of Stafford Folly Farm have been made so that we as students can listen and re-listen to these in lessons and at home. By allowing us to learn with interactive multimedia lessons, the teachers can give us more control over the pace at which we learn and helps meet our different learning styles. With access to videos and animations, we as students can now see things for ourselves instead of simply listening to a teacher. This encourages us to lead our own learning and raises our confidence. QR codes are used to take us to anywhere on the internet. As diagrams are brought to life, we are motivated to describe and explain in far more detail and achieve significantly more. We also use digital technologies to support learners to review and share their progress. In music, Spanish and French lessons, the teachers encourage students to record their performances and their compositions. In PE, students use apps and devices to annotate their own videos and to add explanatory narrations to their work. This allows them to enhance their learning and offers opportunity for feedback, self-evaluation and improvement of performance. Many teachers are also using web apps such as Asmodo to collect and assess the students' work. This means that as students we are able to ask for advice even from home, whilst also saving time, paper and many other costs. Google Docs are also used by the sixth form, and this has created a paperless workflow, allowing teachers to create, review and grade our assignments from one place. No longer do teachers need to wait until the submission date to help us with our work, as Google Docs allows them to see our work at any given time. Teachers are also able to engage and assess their students with real-time digital questioning. This allows teachers to gauge the whole class's level of understanding in an instant and in a fun and exciting way. Such digital applications allow pupils to receive feedback immediately, so no longer do they need to wait a week or so for the teacher to mark their work. This example is of an English lesson where I am assessing my pupils' understanding of homophones so that I can assess exactly what each individual pupil's understanding is and plan ahead for individual learning needs. At our school of Pacelli, we are extremely proud to be digital leaders, pupils who are able to help the school discover and explore useful modern technologies. 
As digital leaders, we are then able to transfer our understanding to other people and we have participated in workshops for pupils, staff, parents and teachers from across Wales. Some of our digital leaders have even volunteered to plan and run e-safety sessions with pupils from local primary schools, helping them to become more responsible and safe digital citizens. One digital leader, Grace, recently won the highly commended award at the National Digital Learning Event 2015 for her Sims video on bullying. A school at Pleselli received national recognition for the further two awards, including the innovative Flipped Classroom project at the school. We have also introduced a Bring Your Own Technology initiative at Key Stage 4 and Key Stage 5, so pupils are now able to use their devices as engaging learning tools in their classrooms. With safe and monitored internet access, they are given the opportunity to expand beyond the boundaries of what they'd find in a textbook.